While the shotguns from Modern Warfare 3 have been pretty fun thus far, I think we're starting to get to a point where everything is starting to get just a little bit stale. Yes, we're getting new map additions and we're getting some cool guns and aftermarket parts, but the shotgun class still needs a little bit of something, something to kind of keep it really interesting. And luckily with today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys some leaks that are pointing to some really fun stuff coming in the near future, hopefully. Now, again, these are leaks. What that means is that nothing is 100% confirmed set in stone just keep that with a huge grain of salt nothing is confirmed so we may not get some of this stuff we may get it we may not just temper your expectations but at the same time this is pretty cool stuff that i wanted to share with you guys so that if you do like shotguns you are going to be interested in what i have to say so the leaks are coming from two different places for me and that is jackson on twitter as well as the legend himself bob network uk who both have good track records when it comes to sort of data mining and releasing information that's sort of behind the scenes now, obviously, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to post any pictures or any gameplay of that, but on Twitter, you can find some of this stuff, which is pretty cool to see. So the first and arguably most exciting one I want to mention is in regards to the Lockwood Mark II lever action rifle. This is a Modern Warfare 2 gun, but it seems to me that we're getting an aftermarket part for this particular gun, which would be one of the first Modern Warfare 2 guns to get an aftermarket part, which is really cool, and I really like that. Now, what's so cool is that in the string, in the game files, it seems to be referenced an aftermarket part for this gun labeled as the 1887 and if you're like me you probably had a little mini heart attack because that is obviously referencing the lever action shotgun from the original Modern Warfare 2 the model 1887 I saw this and I flipped I am so excited to see what comes from this because the 1887 is one of my favorite shotguns not that it was like really annoying and broken but rather it's just iconic it's badass it's a lever action shotgun there's a typical one of the coolest types of guns that you can use i mean you just get points for using it for style obviously i'm super excited to see what comes from this it looks like it's also going to be using some 410 ammunition which is interesting it may be a little bit weaker it may have some more range we don't really know how they're going to balance it out but it seems like yes we are getting an aftermarket part that's converting that lockwood mark ii into the 1887 and the big question also is is it akimbo who knows? I think it'd be pretty weird if they brought it back and you couldn't use it akimbo. So we'll have to see what happens. But if you really like this shotgun, I got good news for you. So I hope you guys are excited. I really hope it makes it into the game. I really hope this doesn't get cut. I doubt it will, but just keep your expectations tempered. But it's going to be hard because if you're like me, I'm so excited for this. Another really exciting one I wanted to point out is that we may potentially be getting a new ammo type for the shotguns in Modern Warfare 3. And this is known as the Flechette. I hope I said that right ammo type and flechette or flechette however you want to pronounce it is essentially like little cartridges filled with little steel dart like projectiles in one shell so if you want to think about it it's like a weird shell that has a bunch of tiny darts in it and that's kind of the basic gist of how these things work now this is really cool because this is something battlefield has had and something i've wanted to see in cod for a while so that's cool they might actually bring this so from what i saw in the video of it it looks like it's going to function like slugs where it's one sort of projectile just based off of the initial impressions of it they could change that i don't know but that was just based on the reticle and how it was firing so it looks like it's going to be more of a one solid projectile we'll have to see how that balances out or how that plays out and maybe they change it but this is cool to see because i've wanted an ammo type like this for a while and i love when they play with really cool and quirky and interesting ammo types it makes things really fun and interesting and i just hope that they're kind of usable and we don't get another like bolo round situation where they're just kind of there and don't really serve much of a purpose because they're so bad so i hope this one's a little bit better without being too overbearing up next it looks like we are getting another aftermarket part for a modern warfare 2 shotgun and that is the kv broadside i think a lot of people are thinking oh my god we're gonna get a mag lift attachment for that as well but it doesn't seem to be the case from what i saw and if i recall correctly it seems to be more of a battle rifle configuration for it where it might turn the kv broadside into something that shoots i believe it's maybe 762 ammo or something like that so at that point, you're kind of converting a shotgun into more of a marksman rifle, which I'm going to cover because it's still a shotgun and it's just really interesting, but that it's fun and it kind of reminds me of slugs in a way. And I just love interesting, quirky things. And hey, it's a shotgun. Of course, I'm going to cover it, but I figured I would share this because that is pretty cool and keep your eyes out for that. We may be getting two shotgun aftermarket parts after all. And then we have an aftermarket part that seems to also be coming for the Lockwood 680 pump action. And this one seems to be the most in progress of them 
them that I can tell because it looks like the leakers were able to pull it up in game, but it doesn't really do anything except pull the shotgun up really high in your face and that's kind of it. There's no real differences other than that, but it does look like there is an aftermarket part that is coming. It's cooking in the oven at some point for the Lockwood 680. Maybe it'll get scrapped. I have no idea, but just know that there is the possibility and hey, the sledgehammer devs are actually planning on it. Now, those are the four biggest things that I could find recently that I wanted to mention. Now, of course, we did have talks a while back about having classic guns in the game and one that kept getting tossed around was the Spaz 12. This may still be a thing. I haven't really seen any updates on it. Maybe we'll get it in a future season, but it seems to me like it's not coming season three, maybe in season four or five or six, who knows, but we may also be getting a new shotgun, which is hopefully going to be the Spaz 12. So another thing to keep an eye out for, but that's basically going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to share with you guys some cool information that I found that I can't really get to you guys otherwise besides Twitter. And I wanted to make a video on it because there's a lot of interesting things and in my opinion really exciting i mean the fact we might get the model 1887 as an aftermarket part is pretty cool ever since modern warfare 2019 i have thought that the lockwood mark ii should have some sort of a shotgun hybrid attachment like maybe 410 shells or something i always thought that that would be super cool so i'm glad to see we might potentially actually get something like that but as always i want to know down below in the comments what are your thoughts on these leaks do you have some high hopes like i do are you trying to keep your expectations in check and how do you you say flay chat ammo anyway and with all that being said guys i will see you in the next video